Hi Claremont, welcome to today's assembly. We're going to be learning about kindness. If you're in your classroom, then your grown-ups in the classroom will be able to help you join in. But if you're watching from home because you're self-isolating, you might need to get a grown-up to help you too. You're going to need something to draw with, like a piece of paper and some pencils, or perhaps a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen. So make sure you've got those ready. You might need to pause the video for a moment to do that. So today's video is all about kindness. Kindness is incredibly important. Kindness makes you feel valued and loved and cared for and it brings a smile to everybody's face. I've had some kindness. I had a very kind gift from Mrs Walsh. She bought me a beautiful plant and it really made me smile. I also have lots of kindness every day from Mrs Khan because she always boils the kettle for me so I can have my cup of tea. Isn't that nice? Kindness can come in other forms too, like when somebody draws you a beautiful picture. That's always lovely. Or if you get a card to celebrate something that you've done well, or just to say hello in a letter. Kindness makes the whole world a much, much happier place. And today we're going to find out how you can spread a little bit of kindness and make our world a little bit brighter. Are you ready? You're going to need that paper now. Off we go. OK, Claire Mum, so you should have your paper or whiteboard and a pen. The first thing I'd like you to do is draw me a circle and then a line and a line across and two legs. But not the face. Leave the face just for the moment. Then I'd like you to draw four bubbles coming off your person just like I'm doing here. In those four bubbles, I want you to think really carefully about something that somebody has done that's been kind for you. It might be that at playtime, somebody asked you to play ball with them and you felt that that was a really kind thing to do. Perhaps it might be that when it was your birthday, somebody gave you a gift. That would have been a really kind thing to do. It might be that somebody has drawn you a lovely picture or made you a nice card and you thought that was really kind. Or perhaps somebody has shared something with you. Maybe someone in your family shared a cake or a sweet with you and that made you feel like it was kindness too. Have a go and see if you can draw a person, no face, and four different things where people have been kind to you. Pause the video now while you have a go. Did you manage to think of four things, Claremont? Perhaps you could share these ideas with a friend, or if you're self-isolating, maybe somebody at home. What four things were kind in your life? How did it make you feel? I know how it makes me feel. It makes me feel really happy when people are kind to me. It makes me feel loved and valued and cared for. I wonder how kindness makes you feel. Could you draw how you feel in the face? Have a go and share it with somebody. I wonder what other people at Claremont think kindness is. Shall we see what some of the grown-ups said? Here we go. Kindness is all about doing something for somebody else that shows you care, that shows you aren't trying to gain from it, that shows that you put other people and their needs before your own. It's about doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be kind. Hello everyone, 
kindness to me means somebody seeing that you need help and helping you without you even having to ask them. Kindness to me means doing something for someone else to make the other person happy. It could be something simple like holding a door open or letting someone go before you in a queue. A hug when someone looks upset or sending a text message to cheer someone up. Or it could be buying flowers when someone is sad. Or it could be making them a cup of tea when they're busy. I like being kind. It makes me feel good to be kind to someone else. Hello everyone. What's kindness? To me, kindness is when you do something it needs doing to help friends, family, or even people you don't really know. I remember when I was a little girl I was walking home from town one day with my mum. She was carrying all the shopping. I was skipping along next to her when suddenly we heard a crash behind us and I turned to see an old lady had fallen off her bicycle. All of her shopping had rolled out of her wicker basket that was at the front and I can remember all these oranges tumbling down and down and rolling down the hill. Well, my mum went to help the old lady, but I couldn't do that. I was too little. So I decided I was going to help and I was going to pick up all those oranges for her and pick up the rest of her shopping that she had lost and put it back in the wicker basket to help her. And that was an act of kindness. I didn't get a thank you. I didn't get a reward, but I felt good inside. I know I'd done the right thing. Now remember, an act of kindness, no matter how small, is never wasted. It's interesting, isn't it? Everybody has quite a similar idea of what kindness is. I wonder what the official definition is. Let's have a look at the dictionary and see. I'm going to put a slide up now and I'm going to ask your teacher to read it to you. Are you ready? Kindness is a wonderful thing. It makes people feel happy. And when you're kind to other people, it makes you feel happy too. It's like a magic that you can share. I wonder if you can think of something kind to do for somebody today. Could you smile at them? Offer to play on the playground? Could you say something that they're good at? Can you make somebody feel all warm inside with your kindness? I'm going to ask your teacher to pause the video in just a moment and click on a link I've sent from YouTube that shows you how kindness can make the world a much brighter place. Thank you, Claremont. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.